the mounts on. So now, since when I still had it on here, I center punched the holes. So now I'm gonna drill and tap the holes and just see how it works back up. pan up there real quick it's kind of difficult to do by yourself with those f-clamps but uh, I bought a bunch of this receiver tube and I'm gonna cut me a section off however long I need it uh, then cut it smooth and just have a weld around the outside just so it, it looks tucked and, and nothing sticking out but I'll do that and the uh, safety chain latch well safety chain hooks two and we'll see how it looks back off it's sitting there but i got the roll pan sitting here i got the uh tail light brackets tacked up and my receiver tubes tacked up there as you can tell it's uh square with the world when that thing's gonna be sitting on the truck so i'm gonna weld all this up and uh set it back up there and see how it looks all right so i did a little bit off camera I put the roll pan back up there, I put the box in, but I did cut my hole for my trap door. The receiver is just, it's uh, clamped there with some vice grips on the back side for right now, but it's gonna be fully welded on that support piece in between the frame rails. But you can see, you can get your hand all the way down in there and actually uh, put your pin in for your receiver. Uh, I got my two, uh, Safety chain brackets welded on there. That roll pan's actually gonna be completely welded on all the way around there on the inside too. Um, then the next thing is the uh, trailer plug wire. I don't think I wanna put it on the uh, roll pan itself because I'm gonna probably have one up here for when I'm pulling a gooseneck. I'll, I'll have a plug up here for the, the trailer wire. So I might make like a pigtail that I'll just throw in the pickup when I need to. I'll have a pigtail that goes from that all the way down to your bumper hitch trailer. I think just, just so there's not too much going on back here. It'll be a little more simple. But I'll get a cover made for that. Probably going to have it hinge, I'm guessing. Then I'll probably put my compressor here. Or there, I'm not sure yet. I'm not, yeah, it'll fit underneath that tank for sure if I want to put it there. But. Let me put the bedside up and the fender which I, I put it away already but i got the box in roll pan on still needs to be welded on so i'll probably take the box back out to get that done because i have a 
another receiver support to uh, put on. This will support the, the back of the receiver tube with a little extra strength. Um, but this bedside over here, I want to show you that. These holes here and there are going to be my support pieces to uh, replicate the step side bed. This here is going to be the exhaust, which I'm going to cut it out of like a teardrop shape which it's gonna suck, but it's gonna be like directly at that fender. Maybe I can put like a 90 so it shoots out a little, a little easier. But uh, over here, these are the support pieces. These are just gonna sit on there just like that. Since that brake isn't perfect up there, but I'll get that a little better up there. Uh, and then this, this hole here will be, uh, I got pieces to go into that, but I will get all these pieces, well, the bedside back off, get that all cleaned up, put my tube on, put the, uh, the corner piece in, then, uh, clean all the rest of the parts up and get everything welded together and maybe get a little bit farther today it's like eight below outside today so thank god for a heated shop passenger side here cleaned up all the edges welded the corner piece in I still have to weld the tube but I got it welded in some places and tacked all the way down the down the length of it but this piece is gonna go like this for the tailgate it's gonna be a that's gonna be the pin for the tailgate or the hole for the pin of the tailgate. I still got to weld that down. But I think I'm going to put a few welds back in here because I can, I can get to them just to make it extra strong. But then I got to make my stainless uh, overlay for the, uh, the uh, exhaust hole here. These are, I don't know if I ever said anything, but this is actually for the cab mounts the cab mounts come back so far right there but yeah i'll just keep on welding this out and we'll see how it goes
second bedside and this will be the driver's side. Uh, all I gotta do now is just uh, weld the uh, pipe completely on. I got all that welded. I got those plug welded and got the corner welded. The other one's sitting over there, ready to go on. They're super heavy, so I'll have to find somebody to come help me put them on. But yeah, they, they're turning out pretty damn good. They're gonna look pretty sharp with those uh, support pieces to mimic the other stepside beds, the original stepside bed. So yeah. somebody come help me i met him <laughs> but these things are super heavy but they all look pretty damn sharp though you know obviously your fender is going to be right here so it's that's why there isn't uh another one of the uh supports because the rear axle you can kind of tell it's way towards the back you know it's not centered in the bed but i'm just trying to get this bolted up I gotta kick the, the bottom over a little bit, but the uh, front of the bed there, it's just sitting there for right now. It's kind of difficult to get in there in between the uh, fuel tank. I had to bend that out just a little bit in this way to get it up in that cab mount, but I think we kind of, kind of uh, designed it so when the tank was out, we could put it in, but I mean, that, that's not that big a deal. But I'll try to get this bolted up and the other one is right here. I'll get it bolted up today too. See how it looks. The bed sides are like 106 inches long if that you know gives you a little reference. But and obviously the, the rear axle is, is way back here compared to you know not centered. So I'll give it a little bit of character. But I really like how those turned out. That looks pretty sharp. But yeah, I'll just keep trying to bolt this up and struggle. <laughs> in that one yet yeah, i have to actually uh center punch those and these here those don't have bolts in there yet on either one of them because there's gonna be tabs on the back side that are gonna weld to the top of the frame they're just uh, right over here i think they're just in here it's just these little guys here just for added support 
So I'm gonna start working on this. That looks a little crooked because this side's sitting on that uh, cab mount there. But gonna start putting this side on and see how it goes. Still got to put the tailgate in. I just got these bar clamps here for just to square it up a little bit. But I'll make my tailgate and I'm gonna wire wheel a little bit. But uh, it didn't bolt together too bad. It's just, it's really tough to do by yourself. So I had to use that uh, cherry picker over there to uh, lift them up because they're super heavy. But it bolted together really good actually the only problem was is the front of the bed there it kind of uh, with the cab mounts how they come back a little bit there and it's kind of wasn't the perfect fit you know because they gotta go underneath those cab mounts so as you can see here it's got to kind of go underneath them and through them but other than that, it wasn't too bad. It looks pretty sharp, really. So the next thing is tailgate and try to stretch those fenders. It's going to be a struggle, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And the next one, I'm going to keep on working on the 59 project. But we got a little shop update for you. I got some new equipment that's going to be going over here in this corner. So you have to stay tuned for the next one. Deuces.